INFPs are known not only for their innate creativity, but also for the hint of mystifying peculiarity. INFP stands for introverted, intuitive, feeling, and perceiving. Since INFPs are known to live a colorful inner life, people ask, what really circles inside an INFP's mind? Surely there's more than what meets the eye. In this video, I'll share with you seven hidden behaviors of the INFP personality. But before we proceed, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the channel for more personality type videos. Here we go. 1. INFPs ignore the person they dislike. When an INFP dislikes someone, they don't confront them. They simply ignore. It's tiresome to absorb negative emotions just because they don't like a person. So for INFPs, they wrap them up with an invisibility cloak. And poof, they've become non-existent to an INFP. Say, once these dreamers become too irritated with you, they will deprive you of the responses you want, won't laugh at your jokes, and leave on purpose when you're around. INFPs strongly repel people they dislike. If you annoy them to the core, even hearing your voice, seeing your face, and breathing the same air as you become toxic, so they will go out of their way to stay away from you. 2. While they ignore the person they dislike, INFPs also ignore the person they romantically like. Most INFPs choose to live a private life, and it's one of the reasons why they ignore the person they like. Other reasons could be because they want to secure the friendship, avoid concocted and conceited responses, or plainly dislike revealing their weakness. When people discover INFPs' love interest, it becomes their kryptonite. They melt away run, and even avoid eye contact with the person once their secret admiration is revealed. Moreover, INFPs don't like being manipulated using this aspect of their life, so they keep it hidden as long as possible. On the other hand, some INFPs are turned off the moment their secret admiration is revealed, especially when the other person becomes full of themselves. If you're an INFP, can you relate to this too? 3. INFPs can be aggressive when they're angry. INFPs are conflict-averse and would not deal with who or what caused their anger. They're usually silent about it. Due to this, many people think INFPs are weak souls, incapable of standing for themselves. They underestimate them and often see INFPs as easy targets. But people didn't know that these gentle souls have their breaking point for bullying, insensitivity, and lack of fairness. They may just snap into explosive anger and launch physical strikes. It's not impulsive, but a collection of little resentments bursting into one dangerous rage. Once INFP's anger bucket fills due to the constant trespasses to their values, the sleeping bears wake up, and no one can stop them but themselves. If you've seen an INFP in rage, you'll know that they don't taunt, but approach bullies head on. Yep, that could mean punching, shouting, and throwing whatever. Such rage always catches people off guard. Lesson? Don't push an INFP to the limits. 4. INFPs like recognition and being credited. One of the worst things you can do to an INFP is to take their credit. INFPs dislike people who steal work. For them, it's unethical to feed on other people's efforts. You have to give them what's theirs unless they specifically said you could take it. But on the contrary, these idealists dislike recognition when they didn't work hard enough for it. Instead, they give it to the rightful person. To INFPs, people should get what is rightfully theirs. 5. INFPs are selective on friends. You probably heard that INFPs struggle with making friends. While this is partly true, the reason behind this is that INFPs are picky about who they open up to. They're highly selective on friends. People might approach them, but since INFPs judge a person based on their values, they judge rather quickly whether to let a person in or out of their circle. If an INFP likes you, they will approach you regularly. If they don't, being acquaintances is the closest a person can get. 6. INFPs don't like people who abuse their kindness. INFPs are kind people and drawn to help the needy. They easily cry over sadness, happiness, or gratitude. Sadly, such compassion makes them subject to abuse. And INFPs don't like it. I know this is a hard pill to swallow, but as introverted feelers who have high convictions for their values and beliefs, INFPs aren't as selfless as most people think. They are not doormats who people can take advantage of easily. Sometimes, before INFPs help others, they evaluate if you're even qualified for their aid. For them, if you're lazy and lacking determination, why would they even help you? 
But on the other side, once these dreamers see that you truly need help, they are the first to extend a hand. They will assist you even when you're not asking without expectations or anything in return. An INFP will always help the people who genuinely need it. 7. INFPs easily forgive, but they don't easily forget. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. INFPs forgive, but don't easily forget. If you're a friend or a good acquaintance who wronged them, they may forgive you and act like it didn't happen. But in the back of their minds, INFPs will be forever cautious about it. They take hurtful pranks personally. They may laugh at your jokes at first, but in the long run, it accumulates distrust, leading an INFP to walk away from you. That's it. INFPs are unique individuals. Although people misunderstand these daydreamers, it's undeniable that they are powerful enough to change the world once they put their wisdom and visions to good use. Do you also know surprising hidden behaviors of INFPs? If you do, share it down below. Thanks for watching.